Welcome to Sandwich Chamber Presents, a program that showcases the members of the Sandwich Chamber of Commerce. My name is Joe Arno, I'm your host. With me is Mike Morrison from Right Away Kayak. Mike, welcome to the show. Thank you. Mike, why don't you tell us about what you have here? What um, are you doing? So what we have, it's just our uh, Right Away Kayak. We're a kayak rental. We do tours. We do um, rentals all over the Cape. We started as a uh, as a delivery company, so we deliver our kayaks to anywhere where there's beachfront property. So we'll bring the kayaks right to you, and that's where we get our tagline. We bring the adventure to you, um, and we do camps, we do tours, we pretty much do the whole the whole gauntlet of uh, of anything related to kayaks or stand up paddle boards. Um, we and do the sales as well. Okay, how long have you been in the business? How long have you been doing this? Uh, this is going to be our fourth season. Um, so yep, fourth season, and you know we keep growing and growing, which is is our goal, is what we're trying to do. So this is our first year in this new office, our second year at this location. Um, and we are at? And we're at 449 Route 6A. Right next Sandwich. to the Riverview Cafe? Yeah, right next to the Riverview Cafe. We're great, we do a lot of dual business with those guys. Um, and we're right next to Scorton Creek. We're about a tenth of a mile from Scorton Creek, so that's where we do most of our rentals. And four years ago, you started out over right next to Scorton Creek at the Wing Scorton yeah, farm, yeah, right? we were at the little farm stand over at uh, Wing Scorton Farm. Um, I'm sure everyone's seen it. It's just a little hut that we started at, and we had, uh, I say we, I had, uh, <laughs> I had uh, just about eight kayaks and one stand-up paddleboard, and we just do rentals and we do some deliveries. And now we've grown where we're doing uh, camps with the Sandwich Recreation Department. We're doing it with the Mashpee Recreation Department, and uh, we do a lot of work with the Riverview School as well. So um, let's let's touch on those camps. What what's that about? And so who, the camp, and who's available to use that? The camps basically are available to anybody, and, but you got to do it through the Sandwich Recreation Department or through the Mashpee Recreation Department. It's going to be our third season doing them. So if you go, if you're from Mashpee, if you're from Sandwich, if you're from Off Cape, it really doesn't matter. You just have to go through their websites, and we offer the Sandwich one from 8:30 to 11:30. Um, for six weeks starting July 9th. So it goes from that Monday to that Friday. Um, and then the Mashpee one is from one to four. And so those is this are, for beginners or? It's for it beginners, yeah. It's for ages uh, eight to eight to teen, basically. Um, and we'll just, yeah, we go over pretty much the basics, the fundamentals of kayaking. And we're also introducing stand-up paddle boarding this year. So we'll just go over the basics to each one of those. And then we kind of start to introduce the funner aspects of them. And the kids absolutely love it. We have, it's almost all return kids that we have every year and then we just kind of build up to those. So we've just been able to grow enough at those camps that we pretty much sell out every week. Um, That's great. Yeah, and it's an absolute blast. And you also do tours yep. for uh, groups or families, whatever it is, or is it a regular tour? How's that work? If I wanted to bring a bunch of friends out on a tour. Yeah, so what we do is we have tour times available online on our website and you can go online and check which tour you want to go on. We offer six different locations. So we offer Scorton Creek, which is our number one. That's kind of the backbone of the company. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's title flat, really nice. Um, then we offer Mill Creek, which is the historic boardwalk. And then we have our second location, which is over in New Seabury Marina in Mashpee. And uh, we do Pompanesset Bay and Mashpee River over there. And then we also do, on occasion, much more or less frequent, but we do Barnstable Harbor in Barnstable and we do a quiet bay in Falmouth. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So if you and a group were coming in, basically if it was four or more, we're gonna give you a discount immediately, a 15% discount, and we're just gonna sign you guys up to a certain spot, and then we're gonna have one of our guides bring you guys out, kind of give you a lay of the land, and some instructional points as well. We wanna make sure people are doing everything right so they're not putting too much stress on their shoulders or they feel secure, you know what I mean? A lot of people that do our tours are beginners and we want them to feel comfortable on the water and we want them to have fun and be relaxed, so. So from eight boats four years ago to covering quite a few different areas. Yeah, yeah. What are you up to now for, for boats and, and the stand-up paddle boards? Uh, we're gonna have about close to 90 boats this year. Um, All together we have 14 different kinds and our goal is to you know fit every rider to the exact boat. Um, and that's our goal. We just try to meet every rider's skill level, 
size, age, everything. So that's why we offer, you know, a lot of places don't offer that, that array of boats. Um, so specifically, that's what we want to do. We just want to fit everyone to the exact boat. Um, so we have, like I said, upwards of 90 boats and uh, 30 plus paddle boards this year. And the paddle boards, just why don't you explain what that is. Uh, I'm sure most people have seen them, but they're fairly new to the market. They are, they are. For last, last summer, they really took off. Um, so you'll hear them referred to as SUPs, and it's stand-up paddle board. That's, um, that's what we offer. So we offer two different sizes for, for our rentals, a 10-4 and an 11-4. Um, and basically, it's just, it's like a bigger surfboard. 10 foot being 10, 10 foot, foot length, four, 10 foot four, four inches, inches, yeah. Yep, so the bigger 11 four is for, you know, somebody, a bigger rider, somebody that's gonna feel comfortable on a, on a bigger board, more stability. The 10 four is for a smaller rider. Um, and as you progress in skill level, you can start to go down to the 10 four to get more mobility and uh, kind of be able to move around a little quicker. Um, but yeah, basically what it is, it's just a wide surfboard um, you stand on it, you get a good, good stance on the board, and you have a paddle, and you pretty much just use the paddle just like you would in a kayak um, to kind of propel yourself through the water. And the difference is it gives a whole different vantage point into the water. It's just you can see everything going down below you. So you can see stripers running under you. You can see, you know, some, some great crabs. In Scorton Creek, you can see some snapping turtles if you get far enough in. Nice. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's fun. It's a whole different workout. It's all core and legs as compared to kayaking, which is all upper body, you know, shoulders. So, so it's just is there a different a physical, Is there a different physical ability for somebody that, needs, that can use a stand-up board well, versus the, a kayak? The kayaks, um, you know, people that are more looking to relax, more looking to just kind of go have a casual day out on the water, kayaks are a good choice. But with the stand-up paddle boards, they're so easy to transport. So easy to just, you know, you just grab them, carry them down to the water, and you kind of have the option to just pull them up a little easier. And right. you can jump into the water and climb back on. So it really isn't, a, you know, it's not too far of a stretch for either way. Okay. It's kind of how you want to use it's each just one. It's a different experience. Exactly, it's sure. a total different experience. So stand-up paddle boards have really blown up and, and we've been ahead of the curve as far as their popularity. So we've been dealing with them for four seasons now. and. Um, we have some really good uh, instructors that do the lessons, and we're always happy to give a 15-minute instruction. Or if somebody's a little nervous and doesn't want to go for the whole, the whole lesson, you know, we try to be as flexible and as helpful as we possibly can. You know, we're trying right. to get we're trying to get people to spread the word, and we're trying to get uh, people to just be comfortable on the water and having fun. That's what we're all about. I went to your website, right away kayak. Dot com, yep. Correct? And yep. I, I perused that a little bit mm -hmm. and it had different types of tours and, and some of that were very interesting. Full moon tours and yep. uh, morning sunrise tours, sunset tours. Yep. It's, yeah, basically we do everything depending on the tides. So we can't offer these all the time. And obviously a full moon only comes around so often. Right, so we can right. only do that one a certain amount of times. But the full moon tour is a blast. It, we offer it. Usually it ends up being about three times a summer and we'll offer it the day of the full moon and maybe the day before and the day after. We can still do it, but those fill up really quick. Um, we go out around nine o'clock. Um, we have glow sticks. We have, you know, we get everybody all dolled up with the fun stuff, the headlamps, and we go out on Scorton Creek and it's just absolutely beautiful. We had, last year we had a great, um, great show uh, as far as some, uh, some shooting stars just nice. the whole night we were out nice. there just shooting stars so we had about 12 on that one and that's about our limit to what we do because we want our tours to be as personal as possible we want everyone to feel comfortable and not like somebody's just leading them and yelling behind orders you right. know what i mean we our guides like to get up and close like we are right now basically in a kayak and be like do you feel comfortable with you know what can i help you with personally or what do you want to know about about the creek you know what i mean and it's not just a yell fest it's more or less the guide becoming part of the group, and it's just a better feel than the whole hurting people in a, in a, in a direction. So, yeah, but the specific tours, um, the sunset and sunrise, the sunrise are a little less frequent because that involves a five o'clock wake up for people. So we'll get some people out there though. It's absolutely gorgeous. We get to see a lot more wildlife than some fox, some, you know, we have some herds of deer that come out on a Scorton and over in New Seabury in the Mashpee River. It's really active wildlife in the morning. Um, 
And then the Sunset Tour is one of our most popular, and we can offer those a, a little more often as well. So for the person who wants to get out into nature and actually have somebody bring the boat, this yeah, is a good idea. pretty much. You don't want to get all the effort pretty into much. it. Pretty much, exactly. Just kind of show up and go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's, I mean, the whole concept of this business is we try to just make it as easy for people to get out on the water. So people that are coming down even from another place that have a kayak, like from Connecticut or New York, they know they can just call us and we're going to bring the boat right to them and we take the hassle out of it. So, sure. yeah, so that's the goal. Um, that's the goal that we're trying to, we're just trying to make it so easily accessible for people to get out on the water. It's probably a good point too. If you already own a kayak and you want to try a different style, mm -hmm. you can, you can try what you have here and you sell these as well. We do. We sell, we sell the boats. We have a huge end of the year sale every year that we sell our used boats. Um, and we also sell brand new emotion is the brand that we sell and Bic are the brands that we sell. Um, we also sell the uh, stand up paddle boards as well. Um, we sell those new and used at the end of the season. Um, but yeah, it's nice for people to come and kind of try a boat out, see how it feels. And then if they're interested in buying, we can just take that rental fee right off of the price. You know what I mean? Nice. We just, we want to make sure everyone, everyone loves their boat. You know, we want people to say, we got our boat at Rideaway Kayak. We loved it. You know, it was a great fit and they made sure it was the great fit before we bought it More rather than going, service. yeah, rather than going someplace else where you're just buying it off of a wall taking it out and it's like mm, I really don't like it anymore then it's just gonna sit gathering dust in your backyard or right so yeah we uh, we try to be as as helpful and let people kind of test them out prior to the purchase so great yeah yeah the locations you had mentioned uh, you did you have Wakoit Bay but your your station you have the station where do you get those from over at New Seabury, is it people use that yeah. as a location to, get, location to get them? Yeah, so we have a, we have a little satellite location in New Seabury Marina, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's, uh, it's right in the marina, so we have the ability to just drop them right in the water for people, and they have the option to go around Pompanesset Island, which is phenomenal as far as real estate, and it's just cool. gorgeous over there. So a lot of people will just rent our boats just to go look at real estate, uh, which is pretty idea. funny, but it's beautiful. Um, yeah, you might I like be interested, that. right? Got you sold. Uh, and then I like that one down. And then we can you can also go into the Mashpee River, which is all preser you know, preserved land. And uh, the the wildlife you see is just out of this world. So you have kind of the best of both worlds over there. Um, and that spot was our our first time was last last season was our first year over there, and it's grown to a point where now we can kind of have a full time staff over there, nice. and we run our tours out of there full time, rentals full time. And we also do the sales over there as well. So we sell our paddle boards and uh, some new kayaks out of that spot as well. And new year this year, you're going to be in Sandwich over by the boardwalk at Town Beach? Yeah, yep. We have a, uh, we're going to have a satellite location on the Town Neck side, the Town Neck Beach side parking lot. So we're going to have um, the option for people to just come in, basically pay for an hour. Like you want to try a stand up paddle board, I'm going to take it for an hour. You just pay the guy that's there. Boom, you get to test it out. You want to you want to extend that to a day. We're right there now. So we do so much work out of Mill Creek where the boardwalk is that we just figured it's time for us to get somebody over there, have it as a uh, satellite location and start kind of using it as a home base. So, yeah, we're going to have somebody over there for the whole summer. What's the what's the story behind the success of this? Why is it taken off from 8 to 80 or 90 boats? Um what, I, I, I would say it's just the personal contact we have with people. Like we just did a tour yesterday in New Seabury with um, a couple that's come back with us for three seasons. This is their third year back. They always come this week. And um, I feel like they're my, you know, they're my friends. I, I, I know them very well. I knew they just got married. I knew, you know, I knew they just bought a house, just got a dog. And it's just, it's like you're going out with friends. And that's our, our whole personal touch is um, what gives us that appeal. And you know, we're your local kayak company. I, I'm born and raised in the town of Sandwich. So I know every waterway. I know, I just know this town like it's the back of my hand and I love meeting new people and it's, it's what I love to do. So it's, it's one of those scenarios, you're gonna be good at what you love to do and that's what I've tried to do with this company and it's, and it's worked. That's great. Yeah, yeah. The, you mentioned earlier when we were talking that I always picture this as a sunny day type event but you were saying rainy days in the summers 
pretty nice. Yeah, sometimes the rainy days are actually um, even busier. Uh, sometimes we'll have, people can't go to the beach. Some people come to Cape Cod just to go lounge at the beach and that's why they come and it's a great reason to come to Cape Cod. I'm not arguing with that, but on those rainier days, it's a great option to kind of be active and go kind of see a different side that a lot of people haven't seen. I mean, even, even the locals that have been here forever, you know, people that have lived here for 30, 40 years will come uh, into our office and be like, well, where do you go? We thought Scorton was just what we could see from the bridge. And then they come on one of our tours and they realize it's this huge expansive section of the Great Marsh, which actually ends up feeding into Barnstable Harbor. Right. So it's this beautiful, beautiful marshland that they didn't even know existed. So even on rainy days are sometimes, those are our busiest days, the overcast rainy days, because it gives people the opportunity to, to check something out and do something different than just go to the beach. So yeah, we had the, the rainy days and stuff are uh, days where we look forward to having people and kind of showing them, showing them what we're all about. You, you, you're from Sandwich. How did you get into this business? Uh, well, like I said, I'm born and raised in Sandwich. Um, literally grew up on the water. Uh, you know, between just being at the beach constantly from the age of, you know, one and on. And then my grandmother lived in Lakewood Hills, so Spectacle Pond was, I'd just ride my bike and I'd be on Spectacle Pond. There wasn't a day where I didn't have something going on on the water, you know? And I've been kayaking since I was around eight and I just absolutely love it. And knowing the potential of this area and what a, what a kayaking mecca Cape Cod is all together and what a beautiful area we have here, um, I just kind of wanted to bring that younger business mentality to this area and kind of give it that more eco, you know, eco-tourism feel and more of an adventure location. Um, so growing up here, I knew it had the capability. Um, you know, I went to Sandwich High School, um, went to the Wing School. My father was a eighth grade science teacher oh, at the right. Wing School. So, yeah, so I mean, I, the connections just never stop as far as who I know around here. And, you know, it's a town I grew up in. It's a town I love, and I'd love to benefit it as far as bringing a different kind of business and a different kind of, different kind of clientele here because there's just so many different businesses that are great. And, you know, I think, it, I think it's an area where this town can really kind of expand. So cool. that's, that's what I'm hoping to do, kind of be ahead of the curve of bringing that, those groups in here and having them see what the rest of Sandwich has to offer. Right. So Mike, the other thing I was looking at on your Facebook, you Facebook dot backslash kayak, with, what are the numbers? Right, right away kayak. Yeah, right away kayak SUP. And, and SUP. So like I said before, the SUP is a stand up paddle board. We'll get yeah. that question a lot. Yeah. What's a SUP? And it's just a stand up paddle board. Um, I but, noticed you had you have a team. You did you did some adventurous things. We do. I mean, our whole goal, as far as Facebook goes, um, is it's it's a spot for people that are just active. I mean, it's not necessarily specifically kayaking or specifically stand up paddle boarding. It's it's hikers. It's runners. It's kiteboarders. It's skiers. It's snowboarders. It's, we just want it to be a place where everyone can kind of go and tell their story because you know we obviously are specific to kayaks and stand-up paddle boards, but you know, the people that I have working for me and myself, we're just an active, you know, it's an active crowd. It's people that love just adventure and, and any sort of activity where they get to be outside and so enjoying people nature. That, that, that hike, that ski, exactly, that run, exactly. it's just another way of being outdoors, getting yeah. some exercise, yeah. getting so the nature. The, yeah, so the Facebook allows us to connect to everybody, and we do, like we did um, the Regnar Cape Cod, and we had a, which is the run from Plymouth, to P-Town and we had a group of 10 of us that were team ride away kayak and if you go on the Facebook page you can see these pictures and it's uh it was a blast it was so it was an actual physical it was a run it was a physical run yeah it was a relay race so okay. you ran from uh eight in the morning until around noon the next day so we like I ran at three in the morning at one wow. point so we were rocking the team ride away kayak and you know had nothing to do necessarily with kayaking but it's just our active, these are the people that are part of what we're all about. So yeah, we did that and we did um, the Tough Mudder as well. We had, a, we had a ride away kayak team for that as well. And what is the Tough Mudder? I, I'd never heard of it and I noticed about five teams from Cape Cod yeah, that it was people big. that yeah, I Cape, knew. Cape Cod had a lot there. of people, it was good. Um, it's a race, it was at Mount Snow. It's a 10 mile race and every half mile there's like a, just a crazy obstacle. So. Some of the obstacles were like 
an ice bath that you had to jump into and then go underneath a piece of wood and go back up under. That was the hardest one for me. The ice bath was crazy. It I thought it I, takes your breath away. I thought I was <laughs> never gonna, I thought I literally was never gonna be warm again. Um, so that, I mean, those were the type of obstacles, you know, walls that you had to have your team help you out to get over and um, it was just nuts. One of the hardest things to do. So I chose to do two of the hardest physical things I've ever done five days apart from each other. No kidding. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't my brightest moment, but a lot of Facebook material. So, uh, but yeah, we had, um, we, have, we have that stuff on there and that just proves to what I'm saying as far as that's what it's all about with us. It's not necessarily about the kayaking or the standard paddle boarding. It's about being outside and just being active. And that's the same kind of concept we try to teach in our camps as well, is just we want them to learn about this area, how to protect it, and how to live a nice, healthy, physical lifestyle. And, um, and that segues into what you do in the winter. This is the, the, the kayak business is obviously seasonal. Yep. And what do you do in the off season? Tell us about that. Uh, so in the off season, I go to, um, I go out to Vail, Colorado, and I've been doing that basically since I started the company. So I've been doing it for four seasons. And it was one of those, when I started the kayak company, it was, oh, what can I, you know, I'll go be, I'll go to Vail, Colorado and be a ski instructor and cross that off my bucket list. You know, I'll go be a ski bum. And then four years later, I just haven't stopped going. And I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. I get to work with the same age kids that I get to work with in these camps. And it's just awesome. I absolutely love it. Um, and then we've also started with Rideaway Destinations. It's a, it's a kind of an expansion of Rideaway Kayak. And we do big group trips out to Vail. And it's just a fully catered trip out to Vail since I've been out there four years and the person I work with with the company um, has also been out there even longer so we're just you know we basically take people that feel like they're gonna be tourists in a new place and we make them instant locals so um, nice. yeah so right away destinations is what we're trying to expand into um, that's a good tie-in to what you're doing here too it is it's a, yeah it's, it's a great tie-in so that's so that's the goal it's the goal is to just keep kind of growing and be able to offer different adventures to people um, whether it's here offering them a stand-up paddleboard lesson or whether it's we did our first trip to Nicaragua as a surf destination great um, so yeah we're growing and we're getting to offer more to people that wouldn't necessarily have the have the information or the opportunity to to get to these places so yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. I, I love that aspect as well. So where do you draw most of your people from, most of your business? Uh, I'd, l I'd love to say we get mostly locals, but you know, we just, d the way we advertise is the stuff we've talked about, website, Facebook, um, all stuff that kind of reaches outside of this general area. So, you know, we get the New Yorkers, we get Connecticut, we get Texas, you know, we get every place. We get a lot of, a lot of uh, Quebec. Um, we come up, you know, we come up high and when people actually read the reviews and stuff, where who, they, where who they come to. And if they talk to us on the phone, they know how open we are and how flexible we are. Um, but yeah, as far as the, as far as the local um, clientele coming in, we just kind of miss it because of our advertising methods. We don't do a lot in the newspapers. We don't, you know, like this is a great opportunity for us to reach the local crowd and let them know that we're here at 449 Route 6A to, to just show them, show them what it's all about. I mean, if you live here, you don't understand the opportunity you have to have one of the most beautiful locations to go kayak or stand up paddleboard and anybody's capable of doing it, you know? And I've we'll teach you that it. in 15 minutes. Yeah, right. exactly. So it, you know, we Until love, we summer. love getting people out there. Right, yeah. coming yeah. up, coming yeah. up. There we go, future. It, you're obviously a member of the Sandwich Chamber of Commerce. How yep. has that done for your business? Uh, it's been great. I mean, as far as getting the brochures where they need to go and as far as um, connecting with other businesses, um, we run deals through the Daniel Webster. Uh, it's like a it's like a play and stay package. Okay. It's it's fantastic. It's uh, you stay a night at the Daniel Webster and you do a tour with us and it's an unbelievable price. So that's you know, it allows us to connect with different different businesses like we wouldn't be able to just by ourselves. You know what I mean? So that's it's great. good. It's good. So we got stuff like that going on, and anytime we can kind of meet with, with other people um, that are connected with the chamber, it really helps us out. So, so the best way to find out more about Right Away Kayak, RightawayKayak.com. Mm -hmm. Your Facebook page is. Yep, the Facebook page. If you just search Right Away Kayak on the Facebook page, you'll uh, you'll find us. We'll pop right up there. 
and uh, we love having people add content, like we said, upload pictures, even if it has nothing to do with our company. We just love to get those pictures of people in different areas, whether it's Barnstable Harbor, whether it's down Salt Pond in East Ham, you know what I mean? We just love those photos. Or whether it's in Costa Rica. I mean, we just yeah, yeah. love getting that stuff, so. There's some pictures from, was it Peru and Mexico? And you yeah, know, yeah, we had, yeah, we had the Nicaragua pictures and uh, the Costa Rica pictures. Yeah. And yeah, we have these koozies that we like to give out to as many people as we can. And we're gonna have a Facebook photo contest. Whoever can take the best picture with the koozie in it. We have one at Machu Picchu. We have one at the pyramids. Um, and we're gonna have a little photo contest with anyone that's on our Facebook page and has one of those koozies. Whoever gets the best shot with that koozie in it, we're gonna have a little prize for them. So that should be fun. Very fun, everybody. very fun. Yeah, yeah. So it's an adventure. It Wherever is. it is, Facebook, out on the, the waters of Cape Cod. Yep. Vail, Colorado. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good gig you got going it on, It is, Mike. it's fun. I love it. You gotta do what you love doing and I'm definitely enjoying every second of it. So it's worked out well. I appreciate you coming on the show. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate the time for sure. So if you'd like to watch this show, you can see it on channel 13 at the local Comcast channel, or you can see it on sandwichtv.org, Sandwich Chamber site, or YouTube, or Facebook. We're all around. Thanks for joining us.